Hi everyone, this is uh, this is CVGS, it's me Leon and today I'm bringing you the commentary for the 1v1 championship that happened on the 9th of February 2020 between the Sour Salty deck as well as the Amartya Su deck. Uh, both these two decks are very strong contenders considering the, how good they are in the meta when they released from the BS51. Okay, so um, let's see what went down on that day itself and let's proceed to the final video. Alright, and here we are into the fight video. And both players already drawn the first four, and then they uh, Glenn won the rock, paper, scissors. Now he's deciding whether he wants to go first. And then he chose to go first. Yeah, he drew the card. So now the battle begins. So now contemplating how his first move is. B. Usually, being the first player, what you want to do is that you drop the Grand Walker. But the question is whether he does he have it. And he does have the Grand Walker Amaterasu. Then he has dropped down and then he call charges. He manages to hit up two of the targets and then he charges on the two. And then he passes the turn to where it's uh, Kevin. Now it's Kevinson, call step, and then draw step. Nothing to refresh, so proceed. Then he draws the Piglet. Piglet is the uh, interesting uh, God Seeker. On summon, he gets a call charge one. Call boost, actually, sorry. Then he gets to top three of his deck. If there's a red, green, uh, Indiana uh, Grand Walker, you can add it, but he doesn't. But he does get a spell that lets him add when revealed by green skill. Then there's uh, nothing much you can do from this point, and then he passes the turn. Now back to Glenn. Glenn now draws a card and calls that. Now he's deciding what he wants to do from here. And he drops the red Grand Walker. Oh, uh, God Seeker, I mean. So the God Seeker comes into play. He gets to review the top four of his deck. Oh, uh, Judge got him to move the cause. Accordingly to the right places. Okay, round top four. Oh, he gets a uh, Amaterasu, so he can add it to his hand due to the ability. And now he gets to add either, an, a, either a Heaven Messenger or a Avatar, which he has both of them in. And then he adds the Avatar, which is the uh, Ohi Rume. However, he cannot add the other two. Uh, the other two only can. Uh, the white, the impregnable shield can be added by the white Grand Walk, uh, God Seeker, while the other one he chose not to be a priority since uh, that card gives armor but not to the color that he is facing right now. And then he sets the burst. Now contemplating what else he wants to do. Oh, and then he plays uh, Linking Plan. Linking Plan allows him to draw two cards and also uh, once the effect resolves, he may pay three cards to the Void from the Grand Walker to take it back. Now the question is where he wants to. And then he chose not to do it. Alright. So now he's contemplating his next move. Usually at this stage, since there's no cybers, normally a player would attack, taking advantage of the situation. So he's contemplating and calculating his move. And he chose to attack. And Glenn uh, doesn't have much reactive at this moment, so he has to take one. And then he passes the turn. So right now Glenn is in a pretty bad position on 4 life. Since Amaterasu can shoot 4 and he now drops the Chichala. Chichala is a Goso, a Godseeker as well. And he tops 4. He has Ares and the uh, Ares Grandwalker and the X-Ray. However, he can take the Avatar, uh, X-Ray, and Sawaswati. But he cannot take the Grandwalker, which is a pity. So now, he will deploy the Sawaswati. And then he call charges. Hits all 3 targets. Oh no, he drops that uh, very important uh, burst. That card could save his life, but he's, he might hit it by the call charge. However, he now he draws the Brahma, which now he has a pretty good advantage, considering he has two Grand Walker, which helps with the reduction greatly. Okay, Brahma, uh, perhaps not so much because he does change to only red symbols, but however, is still under the same family as Saraswati. Oh, yeah, I see Aramandi. Is he gonna play that? Okay, so he does pay to summon the Aramandi. Aramandi is a very good card that lets a uh, it generates all colors of symbols and it itself is red and then Piglet uses the ability again to top 4 again he does not get what he needs uh, the, another Ares oh no it's sent to the bottom of the deck however he does get the Scarab uh, Buffalo I mean sorry he looks like the Scarab so sorry about that so he adds that to his hand and now he's contemplating what he wants to do and then he passes the turn to back to Glenn so now Glenn calls that and he does his draw and he refreshes. 
yeah, uh, they are kind of in a weird position now because they're both left-handers, so that's why their positioning is so uh, awkward compared to usual. Okay, so what is Glenn gonna do now? Now that he put his opponent at four damage, uh, Amaterasu has the ability to send four life to the the reserve very easily by effect damage, and they usually count in high symbol. So now he's contemplating what the next guy is gonna play. Set that aside. But right now, at least based on the feel itself, uh, on aggressive Kevin is pretty good. He has two Grand Walkers and two Spirit. Oh, uh, Glenn has played his uh, Amaterasu, the second one. And Amaterasu itself charges on Amah Amahara uh, Grand Walkers, since after she is the leader of the Amahara clan uh, family, so to speak. At least by the law. Like. And then now he drops his White Grand uh, Godseeker. Also allow him to look at the top 4, adding exactly the same requirements. And then he gets the Grand Terrasu and adds the rest of the bottom. The opponent wishes to see, ah he cannot add the Stratagem, uh, sorry the Linking Plan, because it's not the red one, kind of like what happened earlier. Okay so now he summons the Hardcast the 51st, kind of already Hardcast he has a reduction on the table. So on summon he gets to take back one War Dragon, both Armor Terrasu charges now again. So it takes back the God Seeker because it's the only War Dragon you can take back. Take that back, and then now he proceeds to Grand Descent onto uh, God Descent onto the uh, the fifty first uh, Burning uh, Soul Dragon, and he braves it no less. Wow, this is gonna be a bit much more trouble than it's worth now for Kevin. So he depletes the other god seeker so now he attacks and on attack a uh, grand release now brings it to level 2 he can bot deck the chichala and then when it's bot deck by the chichala uh bot deck chichala amaterasu effect kicks in kevin now eats one effect damage and now the brave itself also allows it to destroy one spirit that's 7k and below so long there's a soul core on it and in of course before that he draws a card as well and because he does bond deck a card due to the ability of the uh, grand release, uh, the god release he now gets to attack okay, he gets to refresh and attack but however he gets heavy exhaust by the spell that uh, Kevin got at the start of the game but however he still has to deal with the triple symbol that's coming at him right now with the grand terrasu and if he doesn't react he will lose this fight even if Grand Terrasu was only coming at uh, he himself single uh, without the Brave, he would have still been double symbol. So he must somehow do something about this. And then he used uh, Speed of Sound to summon the Buffalo. Buffalo can be paid from either the Reserve or the Grand Walkers to play Void to summon it during the flash timing. Oh no, no, oh no, the camera was kicking, so uh, sorry for the inconvenience technical difficulty there. Uh, right now they are rectifying the rolling for the buffalo. Sorry, buffalo, that buffalo, yeah. I got myself confused with it. Okay, so right now they're uh, checking their ability. By supposedly, the buffalo will be able to send a spirit, uh, the exhausted spirit to the bottom of the deck. However, Grand Terrasu, when he does a grand release, he blank text all spirit and ultimate on the field. Which makes it uh, very uh, hard to deal with at this moment since the card did come into play, technically its ability is now nullified. So no choice, he now he has block, otherwise he will not survive the blow. And now that the buffalo is removed from the field, uh, he takes one again by Ama uh, Amatsu's ability. Amatsu, sorry, Amaterasu. Amaterasu's ability when he does the effect damage, it doesn't mention how it has to be removed. So simply by removed by the following types, which is the clever machine or war dragons, your opponent take one. So that means it includes block, includes uh, the just do the send away or is destroyed by card ability. It's very very hard to deal with. So now uh, Kevin's in a very bad position where he only has one life. So uh, even with an exhausted, a heavy exhausted Amaterasu. Anything that comes down and just simply attack uh, Kevin, uh, attack Kevin right now would end the game. So Kevin has to make sure that he has to end this fight right now. Otherwise, uh, there might not be a chance again. With all things considered, and then he draws the piglet to see whether he can find anything they can use. And he call charges again on one. Sorry, call boost. How am I keep uh, mixing up the two? 
Okay, he's counting his calls again, just making sure. Oh, he drops another Aramandi. So now he has two uh, Grand Walkers that can Grand Force. And then he rests the Piglet to use the ability. Oh, that's a pretty interesting top deck. Not the one he needs right now. He got another Brahma and he got another Buffalo. The rest go to the bottom. Okay, so now he's gonna bring what he's gonna do next. Because every move he makes now is very crucial, considering that uh, Glenn is still on 5 damage, with even a set burst as well. So if he makes a. Uh, if he misplay, or somehow set off the. whatever that burst is, it would spell trouble. Okay, now he has begun his attack step, and both. Uh, he used Grand Force for both uh, his uh, Grand Walkers. So both of them have come into battle. Both of them are coming with double symbol. And you, put, you cannot touch any you cannot do anything to the Amaterasu, so just rectifying. And then uh Brahma has chose to attack first. And then uh Glenn activates his set burst, which is the uh he made that he took. Oh wait, draw a card first. Uh then he used the uh he Rume. He remains ability when it's open uh, at the end of the battle and the attack step. However, he can also use the uh, God Release to. At the end of the turn, you can destroy one to Nikkei and below Spirit or Ultimate. However, uh, okay. He's got, he just did the release. Oh, wait. He's not. Is he not? Oh, he chose not to do it. He chose not to do it. Because uh, th here's the interesting thing about the uh, here's the thing interesting thing about the uh, Amaterasu deck is that some it, you have to really decide whether you want to send things away because if you send things away, uh, Amaterasu uh, the Grand Terrasu cannot refresh, and you do want to keep things on the board so that you can effect damage your opponent to death. Considering now that uh, Kevin is on one life, and it would be wise to have done so. However, since now that the uh, Ohirume is already on the field, the attack step is going to end either way. Now they are checking the rulings again. They have to be sure. Because this, after all, again, this is the finals. They had to make sure everything they do has to make sense. Because if it doesn't make sense, it's gonna be really weird. And any misplay will cost them the game. So they had to be sure. Okay, he has a. Uh, Use the ability, he has used the uh, uh, Spear of Sound. He drops the rabbit and the rabbit comes into play and exhausts the Ohirume. So to prevent the blocking, oh then he used the Practical Shield. And then he uh, he depletes the Ohirume. However, he cannot take damage for anything that's cost 4 and above. So rendering the Brahma and the uh, Saw Sorty useless at the moment. However, he can still be touched by the rabbit. So right now, uh, Kevin is in a bit of a spot again. Since now the Brahma cannot do any damage to Glenn at all. So he might as well just uh, attack him with the rabbit. Since then he no flash. But what is he gonna do? Is he going to use the water oh, No, he's not planning to do so as well. Uh, they're checking ruling again. There's a lot of ruling checks. They had to be sure. Actually, uh, Amaterasu can prevent one uh, once per turn prevent one damage. Uh, as in like one battle damage, regardless of simple. Rectifying all the rulings and stuff again. Do you really have to check? Kevin is really uh, on his wits and he has to make sure that it's alright. He has to be. Otherwise, it's gonna be a low lot of hurt. So, all the checking. Making sure again. Because, it, again, this is the this probably is the last turn for him already. It is on his last leg. Okay, no flash. It takes one. Finally, one damage onto Glenn. 
but there seems to be nothing else that Kevin can do now since he cannot take any further more damage. Oh, he pays 2 for the Saraswati to attack again. And then he speed up sound to summon out the uh, buffalo. And then he bot decks the Grand Terrasu. So he's deciding the order. So now, leaving only the uh, heavy exhaust brave onto the table. So the attack continues. And then he takes another. And then he pays again for the Sora Sorty to attack again. This is re he's pushing as hard as he can. So once again, no flash. He takes another. Oh, then he passed the turn. Now it's Glenn's turn. Okay, Glenn now has refreshed his core. But question is, how is he gonna fight back? Since now that uh, Kevin has put out one spirit to block, and the summons got sicker again. So his most effective way to get out of this is that uh, is that he somehow gets another unit to some get another Grand Terra or anything. Oh, he got a he got a Oihime. Oh, he may. Yeah, then he sets a burst. He puts his exhausted uh, brave aside. He summons uh, another spirit. And then he grand descent again. Oh no, he didn't. He hard cast the uh, grand terra. Because, oh yeah, you cannot grand descent onto a. Uh, any just any spirit. You need to be a lord. So in this case, that spirit is not a lot, and then he grand releases, and then he sends a piglet to the bottom, and he takes one effect damage, and that concludes the battle between the two players. It was intense as heck, especially all the ruling checkings and stuff like that. They had to be sure and all that kind of things. And once again, Glenn, uh, Glenn had another Grand Terrasso in his hand, and that seals the battle. And this is the end of the one v one finals. Uh, of 2020 all right that is a really intense battle it was indeed a great match good job both players for putting such an amazing fight for us all right and that as mentioned that concludes the 1v1 finals uh between the saraswati and the amaterasu all right if you like what you see here remember to subscribe to us and ring the bell to get notified when we upload the video of course do follow us on all our socials which is the facebook uh, Twitter, Instagram, as well as Discord for get all our updates. Alright, for Discord, mo uh, most of the gangs will be there. People like Brandon, people like Shadow, Jungle, they'll all be there to talk to you about games. And I will try to be there on most right now. I'm just very, very busy. But don't worry, I'll try to be there as much as I can. Alright, with that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video, alright? See ya!